All right, B bro. You stay the hell over there, okay? You leave me alone. So greetings from the Relay House. As you can see, the view here is unreal. I happened to uh, uh, knock on the door of pretty much the nicest people I've ever met in my life and <laughs> asked them if I could put antennas on their roof. And they said, okay. So we're here with antenna two and it's pointing off into the, the wild yonder. And then this is the sector antenna, which points out in a 60 degree angle like this. It's technically two pieces. It's that prism. This is the actual radio, the um, Rocket AC Gen 2 prism, whatever the hell. And then this is the actual antenna. So you have a radio and an antenna. It's kind of like two separate. I showed you that in the first video on the, uh, the internet service provider part of this series. These are radios for the sector antennas, which are right here. They look kind of like really weird fluorescent light fixtures. <laughs> they do it that way so you can run different kinds of radios with the same antenna. It's pretty clever. And it's really cool the way that it's put together too. It has like a little, this part slides down over it. And this is rubber to keep like rain and gunk and stuff out of there. And it like locks in place. It's pretty cool. I have one more of these I need to put up because this stops about right here. So all these houses over here, I can't reach with it. And I want to get all those houses down there. All those ones over there. I want to bring the internets to them. But first, as I'm sure you guys can hear, it's kind of windy and the main antenna is blowing around all weeble wobble all over the damn place. The mast on these is kind of thin metal. It's not really the, the most sturdy mast ever. So I'm going to reinforce it. I already did the one at the data center. I did that one yesterday. So that one's done and good to go. Oh man, look at it weeble wobble all over the damn place. Oh my God moving so much and these things are so sensitive as far as uh aim goes the the beam on them is so thin man if they move at all it goes all over the place like in the first video i showed you when it first got connected you could see in the graph the connection was just like this it was nice and smooth now it's all over the place up and down completely disconnecting all kinds of crazy stuff it's really really bad the wind has essentially brought down the entire network and it's supposed to get windier this next few days. But like, I mean, look at that thing moving. I don't know if it comes through in camera, but man, it's flopping all over the place. Now it's time to get to work. Uh, obligatory time-lapse? Yeah, I think so. I thought these things were ratchet straps. I didn't really look at them that carefully. They're like some weird, like, what the hell? I don't know what the hell that shit is, but I'm gonna give it a shot and see if it works. If not, I can go get some real ratchet straps. The ones I used at the data center were actual ratchet straps. I had them in my garage. I was looking for another set of those, but they didn't have any. So I just got these and didn't really give them too much looking at. And uh, yeah, yeah, these kind of suck. I like the ratchet straps because you can really crank them down and get a lot of tension on this so it can't move. With these, you can't really do that. It's just kind of, you just kind of pull it. Push the little button and pull it. And there is no way to, I mean, it's going to back out a little bit no matter what. And that's why these are all freaking loose as hell. It's as tight as I can get them, but they're not tight at all. So what I'm going to do is for now, I'm going to leave these and uh, I'm going to have to come back up and fix this, like do it with actual real ratchet straps. Cause these things, they're, they're not getting anywhere near tight enough, not even close. I can see the thing moving around still. But I also noticed in the midst of all this that um, I forgot to tighten all the aiming bolts. <laughs> so yeah, the wind's blowing it around, but it's just flat out out of aim, like completely, the thing moved. I'm gonna give it a re-aim. I'm gonna leave these here for now and I'll come back up and re-ratchet strap it for real. And uh, we'll go from there, so. For now, um, 
Moral of the story is uh, look at shit before you buy it. <laughs> Later. So it's a little bit of bonus content. Uh, how to aim these things. I was using this thing as a, uh, like a peep kind of, like a peep sight. Yeah, that's not even close to accurate enough. What you need is one of these, a uh, carpenter's rule or a carpenter's square. There we go. And what you do is you put it on the flat side of the antenna and you hold it on there. Oh, it's hard to do this one handed. Come on. Get on there. There we go. And you look down the thing like a sight. So you can see this one's pointed right there, which is, uh, let me see, a little bit to the right of where we want to go. And then, for elevation, you put it on here this way, and you use it again as a sight, but this time to see that we're pointed into the dirt. So that's not really doing us a lot of good. And then on this antenna, you, oh my God, it's so windy. Then on this antenna, you have your azimuth adjustment, which is your left to right, and your elevation adjustment, which is your up and down. You turn these different directions very, very slowly. <laughs> very slowly. While you either have somebody on the other end of the link looking at reception, or you can plug into the data port and see what it's doing as far as reception goes. It's ideal to have someone on the other end, but I don't have anyone over there today, so we're going to wing it and uh, see what we can get done because there is a if you look in the little box thing down here there is a there's a little led readout that tells you your reception the lower the number the better and that's the basic gist of it um it takes with these big antennas with a really, really narrow beam, it takes a lot of patience. With the little nano beams, the ones that I was using before, those are pretty easy. You, like the one that I had here before, we didn't even aim it. We just kind of pointed it that way and it connected. I was like, all right, cool. It was like that for a little over a year. These things though, oh no, 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 no. Oh no. Get ready to bust out the spotting scopes and the carpenter's squares and all the things because yeah especially if you're doing a shot this long this shot's a little bit under nine miles yeah got to be precise and very patient so best of luck questions leave them down in the doobly-doo later